The movie opens by showing two prisoners on trial for theft. After being imprisoned for two years, Edgen and Holga get the chance to give testimony that might lighten their sentences. Edgen begins to tell the story of his life, which began when he worked as a harper or peacekeeper who always managed to catch criminals. The risk of his job eventually backfired on the Edgen family. When a witch he had captured managed to break free and kill his beloved wife as a result of this, Edgen was forced to raise his daughter alone. After the death of his wife, his life felt very empty. He felt unable to live life, until finally Holga came and extended help to Edgen. Holga quickly became familiar with Edgen's child named Kira. Gradually they began to have difficulty earning money, so that both were forced to switch professions as thieves. In principle, they will only steal people who are wealthy and will not hurt anyone. They also formed a team with an amateur magician named Simon and a con artist named Forge. One day Forge introduced them to a witch named Sophina. At that time Sophina had an idea to rob Harper's castle which was full of antiques and magical items initially Edgen refused to do so. But when Forge said about the resurrection tablet that could bring the dead back to life, Edgen finally agreed because he wanted to use the resurrection tablet to revive his wife. Unfortunately, on that mission, Sophina used magic which instead made Edgen and Holga arrested, while Forge, Sophina, and Simon managed to escape. Before that, Edgen had thrown the resurrection tablet to Forge and left Kira to him. After finishing the story, Edgen and Holga immediately escaped by utilizing a judge who had just arrived. Although the action was quite stupid because the judges actually intended to release them after that Edgen and Holga left for the Neverwinter area to find Kira's whereabouts. Once there they learned that Forge had become king in Neverwinter, while the previous king was mysteriously unconscious. All this time Forge was the one who had taken care of Kira as well as leading Neverwinter by making Sophina a personal advisor. Of course it made Edgen and Holga surprised because Sophina was the one who got them caught. Apparently from the beginning Forge and Sophina had planned all this. Forge even instigated Kira and said that Edgen never cared about her and only cared about wealth. It finally made Kira disappointed in Edgen and no longer wanted to live with him. The situation escalated when Forge did not want to give the resurrection tablet that Edgen had left to him. Forge then ordered the guards to kill Edgen and Holga because he didn't want the two of them to be an obstacle to him. Fortunately, before being executed, Edgen and Holga managed to fight and escape from the place. After escaping, Edgen and Holga began to devise a plan to seize the resurrection tablet from Forge so they could gain Kira's trust. They first needed a team to help with the mission. The first person to be recruited is, of course, Simon. They also saved Simon on the stage of the show when he was about to be ganged up on because he was caught stealing audience members' belongings. Then Simon recommends a druid or human who can turn her body into an animal named Doric, because it happened that the forest where Doric lived was forcibly cut down on orders from Forge. With the same enemy background, the four of them finally officially formed a team by changing her form into a fly. Doric also infiltrated the palace to look for the resurrection tablet. Doric repeatedly changed her form into several types of animals, because she had been caught by Sophina and the guards. After escaping, Doric reported that in the palace there was a vault that had a magic defense from Sophina. Where Sophina is also known as a very tough red witch feeling unable to defeat Sophina's magic, Simon also proposed to go looking for the Helm of Disjunction, which could increase magic power. Holga happened to know where they could get information about the helmet because her ancestors had fought for the helmet. They then traveled to an old cemetery to ask Holga's ancestors where the helmet was located. Before arriving at the location of the cemetery, Holga had stopped by the house of her ex-husband who now has a new wife. They parted on good terms, and Holga took a stick that she had given to her ex. Once in the graveyard, Simon raises the dead using the amulet, and they ask the corpses five questions each. The corpses reveal that they gave the helmet to Zenk, a paladin who fled his country when an evil witch turned his people into an army of undead. Long story short, Edgen and the others finally reach the village where Zenk is. He has now become a leader who always helps his people when met. Edgen immediately conveyed his intention to defeat Forge and Sophina with a magic helmet. Initially, Zenk did not want to give the helmet, because he knew that it was very dangerous. But seeing the good intentions of them, Zenk was finally willing to give the helmet on the condition that Edgen had to swear that he would give all the gifts he got to everyone. 
Zenk then guides Ejin and the others through the Underdark to retrieve the helmet. There they must face so many obstacles ranging from brain-eating creatures to an enigmatic bridge, all of which were passed with the help of the portal stick, previously carried by Holga Lucky. They also managed to get through everything and get the magic helmet. But their struggle did not end there because they were suddenly intercepted by Sofina's troops. As a result, the battle between them was inevitable. After a fairly fierce battle, Ejin and the others intend to escape, but they are instead stopped by a dragon that inhabits the place. At that time they were trapped on a dead-end bridge until they finally managed to escape with the help of a portal stick. They were then again trapped in a cave, so Ejin devised a plan to escape by using Simon's magic as a result, they all survived the dragon's pursuit. After that, Ejin Holga, Simon and Doric finally leave for the Neverwinter Palace, while Zank will return to the village at that time. Simon tried to connect with a magic helmet. In his subconscious he met an old man who forbade him to use the helmet because he was considered unfit. This also frustrated them because they thought all their struggles were in vain. Even so, Edgen continued to strengthen his team because he did not want them to lose to Forge and the Red Witch Sophina, considering that the Red Witch was the one who had killed his wife because he had previously stolen their property. At that time, Holga also suggested that they sneak into the palace using the portal stick. Unfortunately, Simon could not use the stick in a place he could not see. As a result, they also bought a painting that they would use as a link for the portal. With a struggle that is not easy, they also put the painting into a cart that will depart for the palace. At the palace, Forge was seen preparing the stadium for the maze game. The crowded atmosphere of the palace made it difficult for Edgen and the others to get past the guards. Everything was getting complicated because the portal they were going to use to enter fell and closed as a result. Doric planned to make a hole so that she could turn into a worm and pass through the portal, while Edgen, Holga, and Simon had to trick the guards. Once inside the palace, Simon and Holga infiltrate the painting while Edgen will pick up Kira. In the middle of the process, Simon miraculously managed to connect himself with the helmet and proceeded to the treasure room with Holga. Unfortunately there, they didn't even find anything because Forge intends to move all the palace treasures to another place. It turns out that Forge and Sophina have guessed all their plans so that they can easily catch Edgen and the others after being captured. Edgen begged Forge to let him participate in the maze game because he thought they wouldn't survive. So Forge let them participate in the game. In the game, they could not use magic, because they had been fitted with a magic removal bracelet. That's why they have to struggle to face so many monsters in the maze. Meanwhile, Forge said goodbye to Sophina because he really didn't care about all that, and intended to escape with all the treasures from the palace. Back in the maze, Edgen and the others managed to release the magic removal bracelet. Thanks to good cooperation, they also managed to escape and go to the treasure storage boat. Not long after Forge came along with Kira. Fortunately, they managed to convince Kira that Forge was a bad person. Kira, who began to believe, was finally taken hostage by Forge. But in the end, they managed to save Kira by throwing a potato into Forge's face. With Kira saved, they felt everything was finished, so they were getting ready to escape. But suddenly they realized there was a much greater danger in front of them. Sophina unexpectedly organized a maze game to attract many people, and intended to turn them all into an undead army. Because of this, Edgen and the others decided to go back and save everyone. They also lured everyone to follow the treasure they threw away through the portal. Thanks to that, people ran out of the game stadium before Sophina could finish her spell. Angry at that, Sophina attacked Edgen and the others one by one. They all utilized their respective strengths to fight Sophina. But of course, a witch like Sophina has a very formidable strength and is very difficult to defeat. Sophina also used time-stopping magic to be able to make them unable to move, but luckily Simon was able to master his magic and cancel the time-stop spell with the help of Kira, who has invisible powers. They work together to attach a magic removal bracelet that makes Sophina lose her magical powers. But unfortunately, Holga was hit by a knife from Sophina, which made her finally died, remembering their togetherness. Edgen also decided to use the resurrection tablet, in order to revive Holga. Thanks to all that, the king of the previous Neverwinter finally realized and crowned Edgen and others as heroes of the kingdom. Zank also sent Forge to prison, 
and Forge failed to escape like Edgen and Holga did, and the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Two.